To create a visual report, in other words, a graphical representation of project's data as charts and tables in either Excel or Visio, let's say for those who don't understand project or don't have it installed on their computer, but they do have Excel or Visio, or maybe they don't want their data running across many pages, just come up here and click on the Project tab, go to the Reports group, and there it is, Visual Reports. Click on it. And then up at the top it says we've got a list of templates in Excel and Visio. Which one do you want to go ahead and use or see? I don't have Visio, so if I uncheck that, you've got six different categories. You can click on those categories to get more specific, or if you want to see all of them, click on the All tab just to see those Excel templates. And of course you can check that to see both of them. Let me go ahead and uncheck Visio. And then for my report, I want to go ahead and create a graphical representation of detailed cost flow on the project in Excel. And I think it's going to be this report right here, the budget cost report. When you select it, you can see over here that there's a sample preview of it. It's going to be in this shade of color. And then down below, it says you can select a level of usage data to include in the report. I want those column charts to be displayed in quarters. Okay, then just come down here and click view and there you go. Let me come up here. If this uh, field list is in the way because you can't see your chart, then just come up here and click on it to close out. And then you can scroll down and see it. And it's a bit large, so I'm going to come down here in the status bar and click and drag the zoom slider over to the left so I can zoom out and see more of it. Cool. Now when it comes to customizing this visual report, which if you know anything about Excel, this is actually a pivot chart because you can actually pivot between data by coming up here and you can see where it says task click on the drop down arrow and click on all and then click to expand the spiffy software training manual and you can see that it's made up of these different summary tasks which of course are based upon their subtasks but it's just showing the summary task the phases here if I want to be able to pick and choose what I want to see over in the chart here and not the entire project as you can see here for quarter three and quarter four and the budget cost is a darker shade of blue for that quarter and the baseline cost is a lighter shade and so on. If I don't want to see it for the entire project, then go ahead and check select multiple items. Uncheck the entire project and come down here and say you just want to see maybe the research and the outline phase. Click OK, it updates and it says, well, for those phases, they were only worked on or to be completed as far as the budget goes in quarter three. That is, we hope we have completed them because as far as the actual costs go, if we do have something that needs to be reported for the actual and it didn't get bumped out in quarter three to quarter four, then it will show here. And then you can see up here that there's a little funnel there, meaning that this field has been filtered. Click on the drop down arrow and check all and click OK. So we're back to where we started. So that's one way to customize it. I don't know about you, but when I look at the legend and I'm thinking, OK, what shade of blue am I looking at? Better yet, another way to customize this uh, chart is to come up here on the Design tab to the Chart Styles group, click on the More button, and let's choose something that has different colors and not different shades of the same color. Select that, and that's so much better. Okay, Blue, Budget, and you hover over there, well, it says Budget, and it gives you the value. In fact, you can learn more about charts in my Excel 2010 training video. And this is a, like I said, a pivot chart because you can pivot between data. And where's the data coming from? Well, it's coming from this worksheet right here, the pivot table. And again, you can learn more about pivot tables and pivot charts in my Excel 2010 training videos on pivot tables and pivot charts, okay? In any case, you can come in here as well. And you can see for tasks, you can click on the drop down arrow. And what you check here will update the chart, and what you check in the chart will update the uh, data range that you see here in the pivot table. So again, if I uncheck all and I say I just want to see the research and the outline phase, click OK, it updates and it just shows me the cost for those two tasks of quarter three, the baseline cost, and then the cost that we have at that time, and then the actuals that have been coming in. Okay. And then if we want to do a little bit more customization, again, you can learn more about it in my Excel 2010 training videos. I just want to give you something to work with here to get you started. Let me come back up here and click on the drop down arrow. You can see that little funnel there that means that this field has been filtered. So if you're like, what the fudge? Where's all my data? Just take a look and make sure that nothing has a funnel next to it. And go ahead and check all. And click OK and we're back to where we started. Let's come back up here, click on the options tab, go to the show group, bring up the field list. 
so it shows well by default all those fields that was uh, exported from project we can even look at resources if we want whoa there we go so for quarter three here are the resources here and you can click on the drop down arrow and say hey I don't want to see all the resources just Rider 1 click OK and Rider 1 was working in quarter 3 as well as quarter 4 like I said what you do in the pivot table when you go to the chart will reflect in the chart as well and you can see there we go for quarter 3 it's just showing for Rider 1 and quarter 4 for Rider 1 and you can look at the legend again red is the baseline cost compared to the cost and the actual cost that's come in and there are no actual costs in other words, Rider 1 hasn't done anything. Maybe he did, but we haven't received the actuals or entered them in and into project to be able to get that uh, column bar there for the actual cost in purple. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.